Hey guys, this is John from Over the Hill Hiker. Welcome to my Gold Butte National Monument hike video. This ended up being about 8.8 .8 miles. This is the second part of this hike video. The first part ended up being about 1.4 miles. So the second part is about 7.4 miles. Uh, absolutely incredible. During this second part of the hike, um, I saw four or five just incredible uh, petroglyph panels, incredible rock formations, uh, lots of arches. I hope you enjoy this hike video because it was incredible. All right, hiking along. And one of the reasons why I wanted to come here is there's some areas that have just incredible landscape. Um, stuff like this. Just really, really pretty areas. I just came to a spot. I'm going to walk around this thing because this is freaking cool. I'm going to change my perspective. Sorry. Here we go. Check that arch out. That is nuts. Right, I'm trying to get a shot. So you can see how cool this arch is. I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but... What an incredible little spot. So that is just an incredible little arch up there. And I'm just basing this off of the fact that I saw very little evidence of that people had walked up there and had really messed around up there. Um, my guess is most people that could do this trail don't even see that, so yeah. If you're doing this trail, don't, for, don't uh, pass that one up. That is really, really cool. Well, I just walked up onto another massive panel. There's so much going on, it's hard to take it all in. That's the panel I was just looking at. Checking out these beautiful little desert flowers. That orange one's right there, then right across the way. This is a little tiny one, but more petroglyphs. wandering we got off trail lost a little bit and just came across this crazy cool arch 
Amazing. Starts from the opposite side. Hard to see with the sun and shadows, but very cool. Probably getting sick of this, but thought this is a cool little alcove cavern type thing. And I look up and got some more petroglyphs. Crazy. I'm just gonna keep exploring. Lots of Joshua trees out here. Then look at all the pretty white flowers just everywhere covering the desert floor crazy so pretty incredible so i'm about three and a quarter miles into this hike and I'm just walking on what looks like an old dirt road. Um, honestly, I have no idea where it takes me. Like I said, I, I never planned for these. Um, I had seen some a few pictures of what some of the rock formations look like out here. And decided to come out here, but yeah, kind of excited to see what's at the end of this this uh, little trail right here. I'm at three and a half miles and just walking through deep sand. Not my favorite thing. It is really cool to see all the little footprints of the animals though. I don't know if you can see that, just little animal footprints everywhere. Kind of cool. Another cool arch, small. It's probably two feet by 30 inches, I don't know. Still really cool looking. So I'm about four and a quarter miles into this hike. Off of the, the sand road, I decided to stop hiking on that. And and road is to my left, but everything I'm seeing to my right is pretty dang incredible. So glad I decided to do that. It's so pretty. I'm almost to the end of end of this trail. Um, I may I may attempt to hike down into this canyon. Looks really neat. All right, I'm down in this canyon. I'm gonna continue to explore. I'll share whatever cool stuff I see.
Wow. Got like a 20 foot dry fall. This is the end of the line for me. This means I gotta go back. Unless I can climb up there, but I'm not sure I wanna do that. All right, we'll check it out. I'm gonna see if I can get up right there. If not, I'm gonna try to. So I was gonna attempt to go up here, and then I realized there's like a little cavern type place I can sneak through here, so. where I'm going, what I'm doing, and you're experiencing it with me. Very cool. Very cool. stuck on the other side of that came up over the top and I've been cruising down here it's pretty dang steep um, I'm gonna head down here make my way out that way um, but I wanted to show you a really cool kind of a, a hidden pictograph or petroglyph That's super cool. Got another cool arch. That's really cool. Big enough that I could walk right through it. Very cool. Almost the exact same area. Got a little like, double arch thing going on here. really neat walking along I just came right in the center of the screen is the area I just came from I was checking out how this these walls are just striped looks really cool look up got this incredible panel up there probably about 70 feet up it's crazy. It's beautiful. All right, apparently we're, apparently we're back into big petroglyph panels. Here is a massive petroglyph panel. Very, very cool. So I was just showing you up on that cliff, the panel. And then I walked around this corner and it really starts over here. These ones are hard to see. looks like a lot of them are really badly worn and faded.
just keeps going. I'm just going to keep walking until it comes to an end. Check out that guy on the end there. It's awesome. I don't necessarily see any more. I'm gonna call that the end. That's incredible. Just looking at right across the way this wall is just covered in crazy holes and and such yeah, that's really neat really really cool well more petroglyphs Glass. It's really cool. So here's these holes that I was talking about to me. They like, look like the perfect spot to sit down and eat some lunch. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to look around a little bit and then head back. All right. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I am as far as I'm going to go. I'm gonna start heading back. What a beautiful, beautiful area. Give you the 360 view of this place. Just absolutely an incredible area. I've been just absolutely shocked at the amount of petroglyphs that I've seen on this hike. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right, let's head back. Oh, got a little pool of water right here. That's really cool. Wonder what, wonder if there's any tadpoles or anything in here. Too early in the season for tadpoles, I don't know. All right. So I just found these three rocks. This is obviously not natural. These are chips that have come off when a rock has been being formed into a tool of some sort. So really, really cool, really, really cool 
stuff like this. All right, as I'm leaving this area, a couple more petroglyphs. It's really neat. This give you an idea of what you're looking at. Right there in the center of the screen is that crack that I came through that had the 20 foot dry fall. Um, yeah, that's that. That's that whole canyon right there. Oh, a couple more petroglyphs right up in here. It's really cool. All right. Say goodbye to this place and start hiking back to my car. And this, I'm going to be going on the same trail, um, probably at least for the next mile. And then after that, I'll cut off onto a different trail that will wrap around. Um, I think it's called Black Butte. So I came, um, I'll call it the east side of Black Butte. And so I'll be hiking around the west side of Black Butte. So should be should be a good time. So alright, I'm out. I'm at six and a half miles. Currently walking on what I'll call the west side of, of Black Butte. I believe I have a couple miles to go, so I will show you any cool things that I run into. Absolute treat. So cool. It's a fairly big one. That is super cool. Seven point six miles into this hike. I'm actually back on the trail that I started on. I've gone all the way around Black Butte. I'm just checking out that crazy rock formation. Almost looks volcanic. Very interesting. Everything around it, sandstone, and it's on a black rock. It's crazy. I'm on my way back, I'm hiking through an area that I have not been through yet. I looked over, and there's some new petroglyphs that I haven't seen yet. This is just around the corner from those last ones. Right up here, there's some petroglyphs. And then down here, that's really cool. And along this wall, there's more. Let's walk up and check them out.
ますね。Alright, so I am almost back to my car, back to the trailhead. That ended up being about 8.8 .8 miles, uh, mostly because I did a lot of off-trail hiking. Um, that was spectacular. Um, I assumed it would be really cool, but uh, that was well beyond what I expected. There was so many incredible pictographs. There was probably at least four, yeah, at least four um, like full pictograph panels, which was amazing. Um, yeah, incredible. So again, this is this is Gold Butte. Um, National Monument and I will add the name of the hike once I once I get this video completed if you like this video give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel like always I appreciate you guys thank you